Time to get more fighters adding to my fighter playlists and I'm going to focus in this video on recent retired cruiserweight champion the haymaker David Hay. So David Hay after this video will take place in my cruiserweight playlist to join Carlos Delayne and Jean-Marc Mormick um, in my database. So as all these videos will go through David Hay's career 20 fights at a time. These are a bit different to the modern fighter videos. These of course are the prior videos I was doing that I'm now ready to do a big push on again. So, David Hay in his first 20 professional fights. Okay, the Haymaker goes 19 wins, 1 loss, no draw, with 18 KOs. So, he has a combined record of 19 and 1 with 18 KOs. Now, David Hay in his first 20 professional fights. Okay, he fights and beats former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Arthur King Williams. He then also suffers his first defeat in his career um, to the big cat, okay, Carl Thompson, who was top 10 rated champion. David Hay comes back after after the Cal Thompson defeat and in his um, following fights, he fights um, former top 10 rated contender Alexander Gurov um, and then fights and beats former top 10 rated contender Giacob Fragameni. So David Hay, after his first 20 professional fights, he has had two fights against champions, beating Williams, losing to Cal Thompson. He's not, of course, yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter. Um, and David Hay has now had four fights against top 10 rated fighters um, with a record of three wins and just the one loss to Cal Thompson. David Hay has also fought one top three rated fighter. That is Arthur Williams. Which David Hay has won. So he has a record of one win, no loss, no draw. And David Hay has not yet fought a ring champion. So there is David Hay's first 20 professional fights. Um, the Haymaker, you know, a recent retiree, but still needs to take part due to his retirement to my old database. So in his next fights, David Hay goes nine wins and three losses with eight KOs. Always a great puncher. David Hay has a combined record at the end of his career um, of 28 wins, four defeats, no draws, with 26 knockouts. Only two men took him the distance. Now, David Hay on this slide fights a bigger list of opponents, okay? He beats former top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion Jean-Marc Mormick, okay? Um, a great comeback after being knocked down. Um, and then he brutally destroyed um, former top 10 rated champion at Cruiserweight Enzo Macronelli um, to unify three belts up in that fight. He then fights um, many years before Luis Ortiz did. He fights and beats former top 10 rated heavyweight contender Monty Barrett before then winning his WBA heavyweight title in Germany against former top 10 rated champion giant Nikolay Valuev. Uh, David Hay then of course in a bit of an exciting fight against uh, uh, Pastit Ruiz to be fair um, beats former champion top 10 and top 3 rated John Ruiz. Now David Hay's last three opponents okay unfortunately Arnold Gerge, um and you know every, the other fighters are not um, top 10 rated so his last three fights on here are defeats he loses of course in the biggest fight of his career um, to future Hall of Fame heavyweight champion top 10 top 3 rated ring champion Vladimir Klitschko and in the last two fights against men under the criteria for these videos David Hay loses to former top 10 and top 3 rated cruiserweight champion Tony Bellew um, before f losing his final fight in the rematch to Tony Bellew so underrated opponents David Hay lost his last three fights now David Hay ends his career Career, okay, with nine fights against world champions, David Hay has won five and lost four of those. He's never fought a Hall of Famer, although at some point in the future, Klitschko will join the Hall of Fame. And David Hay has had 12 fights in his um, career tally against men who were top 10 rated with a record of eight wins and four losses. David Hay has also had six fights against top three rated fighters with a record of three wins and three loss. And he's fought two ring champions. Um, the first one was a win against um, the excellent cruiserweight Jean-Marc Marmek. The second, of course, the defeat to heavyweight king Vladimir Klitschko. So there is David Hay's basic career breakdown, okay, for my cruiserweight playlist. Let's now go on to his stats. And David Hay has beaten... Five individual world champions in his career and fought 66 rounds against champions. Now, under the Hall of Fame category, as I mentioned, he has beaten none as he's fought none. Thus, he's fought no rounds against Hall of Famers. But like my Modern Fighter database, um, this database will grow as Hall of Famers are added. Um, if any added, like Klitschko, who will be, um, then basically his stats will be upgraded. So in his title fight record, David Hay had six world title fights. He only ever lost one, okay, um, to um, Vladimir Klitschko. So he has a record of five wins and one loss from six world title fights. He scored four KOs in world title fights and made three title defences. And David Hay fought a combined 45 rounds in his career. 
Now, the two big stats at the bottom, okay, fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. David Hay at the moment ends on 12 fights against men under that category. And when we look at the win column against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, David Hay, of course, has eight wins. So David Hay doesn't have the biggest career of the retired fighters in my playlist. There's many super CVs in there. But like I say, Hay will take place with Jean-Marc Marmite, Carlos De Leon, um, and other cruiserweights going forward. Um, you know, like um, Juan Pablo Hernandez and Steve Cunningham when Cunningham retires, etc., etc. And we will see how he stacks up um, in the database, both on my website and later when I do the top 100 countdowns. So there is David Hayes' basic career. That is David Hayes' first stat slide. Now let us go on to something David Hay was always very good at. Performing knockouts. So David Hay scored 26 knockouts in his career and a massive 18 of those um, were inside three rounds. So an explosive puncher as we know. David Hay almost scored virtually um, just over a third Okay, from those 26 KOs inside one round, having nine first-round KOs. And David Hay also scored four KOs or stoppages over men who held world titles. Obviously, the KO column is empty, um, and David Hay also, as demonstrated, scored four KOs in title fights. So David Hay, a massive 18 KOs in three and nine in one from only 26 knockouts. Sure, David Hay's um, formidable punch power. So let us go on to David Hay's accomplishments. So David Hay is a two-weight world champion and a one-weight lineal champion. David Hay, of course, held the lineal cruiserweight championship and also held distinction via those three belts of being a unified cruiserweight champion. Shame he never got the Cunningham fight and, and basically go for undisputed, but it is what it is. So the world titles that David Hay held in his career were the WBC cruiserweight title, the WBO cruiserweight title. He also held the WBA cruiserweight title. And David Hay capped off his two-weight championship haul um, by capturing the WBA heavyweight title against the giant Nikolai Valuev. So there is the career of David Hay. He will join my um, retired cruiserweight playlist um, and many, many more fighters to come over the coming weeks across multiple divisions. I'll be back soon with many, many more videos.